we review or report on something, we don't want there to be any guesswork. We believe the information must be accurate, and it has to be reliable. For what we review, the goal is hopefully to educate our audience, and at the same time, an equally important goal is in turn to get educated ourselves. What we want to do is earn the trust of our audience, and to do that, we ensure what we report is accurate, rumor-free, and teaser-free. The premium cigar industry is so dynamic, and every day brings something new. We wanted Cigar Coop to be an extension of that experience, so it has to be 365 days a year. We wanted to create a true media ecosystem and integrate Cigar Coop with the power of our Stogie Geeks programming network. Welcome back, everyone, to the Stogie Geek Show. This is our Stogies of the Week uh, segment. And since I've been under the weather and traveling last week, which is not, don't combine the two if you can help it, I don't really have much to talk about in ways of Stogies of the Week. Um, <clears throat> but Joe Hollywood and Rain Man certainly are uh, picking up my slack this week. So well, thank I you, gentlemen. The guest was they tried? Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to circle back around to oh, the guest. Oh, we back around? Yeah, All right. Yeah. Uh, you want to go want, first? That's your brother. All right. <laughs> uh, Viaje Skull and Bones Daisy Cutter. Now, see, I tried to smoke one of these, yep. and I had Paul syndrome. It was plugged. It was yeah. Well, you this gotta, is what we call Paul syndrome yeah, when it has construction issues. Yeah, this is Paul's. Poker. I tried that. <laughs> I tried that. I have several draw pokers. A. If there were three <laughs> cigars given to us, if you came here with three cigars, say you you know you had a house blend or something like that, and and, and you did like hundred and fifty thousand sticks, and, and you came with three, and you came with three. Paul would get the plugged one. Yep, I'd get <laughs> the one. That's why he walks around with this. It's not because he likes to point or anything. Yeah, I have a lot of draw pokers now. So you there's one that's actually really good that someone sent us because they heard us talking about draw pokers, mm. and I like it. Um, for larger oh, ring gauge cigars, it, it works the best. So. Sewing hook. It, exactly. That's exactly yeah. what the design is. Yep. So you you didn't need to draw poker for yours because no. you're not Paul and you don't have Paul. Sinner. No, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. And not being Paul is great. I, 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 I threw a V cut on that so I can get a nice pepper blast, <laughs> and uh, I, I I lit it up. Uh, size it's uh, four by fifty four. Uh, filler and binder are Nicaragua wrapper is a Nicaraguan sun grown. And uh, let me tell you something. It, it's it's a it's it's a flavor bomb. It's a strong pepper. It's right there. Burns slow. Um, now it's a different wrapper than the original release. Yes, it's it's uh, actually a it's Nicaraguan uh, sun grown Carrillo. Cri- cr- Carrillo. <laughs> Criollo. <laughs> Criollo. Say I don't it with speak me Spanish. Now. Can we get so. a spelling on that? <laughs> Criollo. Yes. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yes, Criollo. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, Criollo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, you know, uh, like I said, it, it, it's a good cigar. Uh, great, great pepper blast. The, I, I've gotten my hands on a few of these over the past couple of weeks, and let me tell you something. It, it, I had one just before the show. It was just, a, it's just a good. Uh, um, I call it a walk around stick, meaning I'm checking email, doing work, getting stuff done. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a good, it's a good pepper blast. So Actually, that, that was the original Daisy Cutter was Nicaraguan sun grown Criollo. Yeah. I want to say the new one is a Mexican San Andreas. Really? Yeah. Uh oh. What did you li- what did you link to on that I one? I linked to, to Half Wheel. Uh yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yep. And it was this year. It was this year's. It was 2010. That's 2010. You're, you're looking at. That really? was the original release. Is Nick Rowan's. Yeah, because this year's release, I am gonna look it up. I want to say. It was definitely this year's release. San Andreas Maduro is this year's release. Is the wrapper? Really? Okay. Yeah, the original was was Nicaraguan Sun Grown Criollo. Oh, yes. okay. All right then, I, I stand corrected. Yeah, it's. Uh, I specifically, bef- like before you, I even knew you were going to talk about it on the show. Mm-hmm. I looked that up because the original Daisy Cutter was like one of those like Oasis cigars. Like it was just awesome, and Stogie Santa had given me one, and I was like, dude, that is like amazing. And then when they said it was re-releasing it, I was yep. really excited. And then I said, I wonder if he's using the same, like, did it, the blend change? And I specifically looked up the blend, and I'm like, wow, it's a different, it's a different wrapper, which changes the cigar mm. entirely. So I knew it wasn't going to be, well, I, I can't say I haven't, the one I had was plugged. So, But the wrapper, <laughs> di- the wrapper differences, are, I mean, it's, to me, a, a different cigar. Well, I, I mean, no, no fault of Andre on that for anything, but um, I'm sure the new one is, is good. I can get you some new ones, so. 
Uh, yeah, I, the, our mutual friend Walt said he would replace it. Yes, yeah. I was messing uh, with him. Gave you a plugged one. The, yeah, yeah. Walt, the one oh. he dropped off. Or no, yeah. it's my fault. I had Paul uh, syndrome. No, that's true. Uh, <laughs> I actually gave it a. Uh, it's definitely box worthy. Interesting. You know, it's box worthy. It's it's good. I've I've had both. I had to put the original one like out of my head because I'll just instinctively like just compare the two, mm-hmm. and it's not. You shouldn't really compare it because the one it? I the one I smoked probably had five, at least five years of age on it. How or did you change the blend so quickly? Well, he probably couldn't get the same wrapper from 2010. Okay. How often does that happen, trying to d- differentiate between uh, it, your previous blends you found amazing and then circling back around? Well, years I later. mean, in the boutique world, it happens often. It's often. A, it happens very often. often. It's right? kind of controversial, right? Like, to call, and uh, Andre, I love you, but to call a cigar like the same name and change the wrapper, is it really the, right. it, no. it is a, it is, and then you had just had to differentiate by year and say, the yeah. 2010 Daisy Cutter and the 2017 Daisy Cutter, because they are in fact two separate, two separate blends. Mm. So, it's, bo- uh, it's box worthy. Nice. Go box for it. Worthy. Nice. There you go. First one for me coming out of the gate, swinging with uh, recent guest of ours, uh, Cornelius and Anthony. You had Stephen Bailey on. Um, their first offering, Cornelius, Ecuadorian wrapper and binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. Um, I had the Robusto, the five by fifty-two. $12 price point, um, comes in three sizes, the Corona Gorda as well, and uh, the Toro, and uh, absolutely blew me away. I, I've been dying to try this, this cigar, and I, I gave it a box worthy, um, good 90-minute cigar, made it the uh, L Titan de Bronze Factory, medium stick, oh, in uh, Little Havana, Florida. That's a uh, plan on circling back around and, and checking that place out again. That's, that's my new home away from home, and... Uh, Sweetness, spice, tobacco flavor, and, and, and earth. It was like complexity for days and very enjoyable. Uh, won't be the last time I smoke it. Nice. Very nice. Good. And he was our guest uh, last week, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Very nice. Yep. What, uh, Greg and Jenny Lynn, uh, <laughs> either of you, what have you been uh, smoking? Well, you just uh, smoked one, Greg, that you said... Um, was good. Yeah, the All Out Kings. Um, this has been getting a lot of media attention lately. Yes. Right? This is the <laughs> joint between... Uh, Caldwell and Drew Estates. Estates, Caldwell yeah. and Drew Estates. I, I can't do the review on it because I really uh, don't, <laughs> don't know the cigar that well. It's my second one. We just recently got them uh, probably last week. No, we got them like three days ago. Okay, three days ago. That's how quick my weeks run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did want to talk about the uh, Viaje uh, shotgun shells. The super yes. Sh- the super shots. Yep. yep. We got those. Oh, those re- re- those were, so yeah. Okay, so they were re-released. The I remember when they first came in, there was a 10-gauge and a 12-gauge. Same. Yep, same. We have a t- we, we got the 10-gauge and the 12-gauge. Uh, the 10-gauge. that, I believe, is the same blend as previously. Yep, all Nicaraguan. I think so. You and, think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I can't verify that, but I want to say yeah. it's is the same blend. Because like people a, that I talk that when they first released, they're like, "I love the 10 gauge. The 12 gauge is just kind of okay. The yeah. smaller one is. Did you experience yeah, the same it's thing? Gone. The 10 gauge yeah. didn't last. Yeah. The 10 gauge didn't last. <laughs> that makes me no. think it's the same blend because it yeah. was the same thing when they were yeah, first. It's, yeah, it's it's a good punch in the mouth. It's, yes, it is. It's full strength, and you know it's full strength. And uh, it was in vintage two weeks ago, and uh, that's what Tom Tom Kloon, uh had turned me on to the 10 gauge. And yep, did you get some one? I really enjoded it. Oh, yeah. yeah it was good. great. How yeah. about the presentation? It's oh, an yeah. old shotgun shell case. Yeah, it's in a shotgun awesome. shell box. Awesome. People it think it they're really actually is. shotgun shells yes. in there. Um, I think Tom Kloon might have something to do with the fact that we don't have any of the That's 10 okay. gauge I left. Buckle, yeah. <laughs> buckle um, I think a lot of them might went to Tommy himself, which we try not to do. Um, but we still do have some of the 12 gauge left. And, um, you know, anyone looking for a full cigar, that's, that's definitely my, my favorite lately is that... Uh, that super shot. It's a blast. Yeah, it really, yeah. Now, it really um, is. Now, going back to the All Out Kings, I haven't smoked it yet. I need to get my hands on some. Uh, it's a collaboration between Jonathan Drew and Willie Herrera and Robert Caldwell. It's a Connecticut Habano wrapper, Indonesian Sumatra binder, and a filler of Connecticut Broadleaf Lajero, which is interesting, Dominican Corojo 97 Seco, Nicaraguan Viso from Esteli, and Nicaraguan Viso from Jalapa. That's a mouthful. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I need that uh, breakdown because I'll be in Esteli on Saturday, and oh, nice. maybe uh, when, when they ask me what I want blended, I'll I'll rattle that off. To <laughs> there <them>. you go, <laughs> <laughs> and l- let them look, let them look at me sideways and go, no, <laughs> no, we're so not you. going to do <laughs> yeah, that. It's Nicaraguan Viso. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you the lingo, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And put <laughs> that write a, it on his hand. Yeah, put yeah. that in a feral <laughs> size too, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, it's uh, it's good. We um, I think we got four faces. Three or four faces. 
Three. Uh, three faces, <laughs> I'm being told. Um, I spend a lot of time doing construction in the back. I don't get in the humidor much, so. Yeah, he spends a lot of time sitting in the back smoking, <laughs> watching other people doing the construction. Oh, no, that's and then he comes true. out with dust on his head, and he's like, yeah, I've been working all the time. <laughs> <laughs> management. That's management. Sometimes that oh, is Oh, wait, so true. I should be sitting in the back, too, then. That's right. Well, then no, then, then we just call you guys union. Yeah, you, you stand <laughs> the first union. I you stand in the front Boom. and do the same thing. <laughs> this is true. So, genuinely, have you smoked anything recently that kind of sticks out in your head? Um, that, the All Out Kings was delicious. I loved it. I had had it a while back. Um, uh, Jeremy. Okay. Uh, yep. He had given it to me. I loved it. Couldn't get any more. Whatever. Um, and then, um, I, 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 not new, but you know, like I, I rotate. Like, so I have a lot of cigars that I save. Like this one, it's like old as hell. Oh. What is that? Um, I believe it was a JJ series, but I don't even know because the patina on the wrap, I, I don't <laughs> that know. That looks really old. It is. It's like 10 years. And I was Ooh. like, you know what? I put it in my car because wow. it was way over humidified and I needed to dry it out a bit before I smoked it. But I don't know if it was a blue label or white label. I have no idea. But well, let's break it out and pass it around. <laughs> um, no sherry, sherry. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, no, that's, you really, didn't that's have, a really old. You didn't have yeah. to share with us. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm not. Um, but yeah, so like, I don't know, like I go, you know, the new stuff that comes out, love it. But I go back to the old favorites. Like I smoked a 724 Lancero, love it. It's one of my favorites. Oh, and you used to work at, at Kirk's shop, I'm right? not okay. trying to, like, give pride, but yeah. yes, yes, it is a it's great stick. stick. It holds its own. <laughs> I love it. It's wrapped in cedar. Again, there's my cedar preference, so I'm, yeah. But I had that one probably, like, three or four years or however long they've been out, so. Mm -hmm. Nice. But, yeah, I love it. So it's a Brazilian Matafina, uh, Honduran. <laughs> It's nice. Do you need that? No, <laughs> <laughs> stole stole this thunder. You just stole right one. Oh no! Well, take it and the, just throw it out. Different, um, a different size, but yeah. It, I'm so wait, what, but what, what was it original line, or what, was it the 1874 or the, factory? Uh, five by fifty robusto, the original. The original. That's yeah. nice. See, that's on my size, but I like uh, Corona Gorda. It's probably yeah. my favorite, but Lancero is definitely up there. Is that what you smoked a Lancero? No, no, he smoked no. a robusto, five and a half gotcha. by fifty. What was right. your rating on that one? I give it a box worthy all day recommendation by uh, Brendan next door and uh, uh, blew me away, man. And, and the price point as well, six and a half. Um, nice rustic look, sweetness, cocoa, um, Brazilian wrapper, Costa Rican binder, long okay. filler from yeah, Jenny Lynn said everywhere. All that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even have no cards. She said, all that. how about that? Uh, oh, she, she showed you up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Management. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to episode 228. The new co-host, <laughs> Sogi Keats. Hey, now. I'm out. <laughs> as long as there's bourbon, I'm here. <laughs> Mondays we is her day. On Mondays? Mondays is her day off. <laughs> this is. could work out. Yeah. Well, as long as she's showing up on Tuesdays, <laughs> we're okay. Oh. We we should actually. Happen. I should actually, since we brought up um, twins, I should actually say thank you to Kurt Kendall too. He was he was big and uh, he's a good, uh, uh, great guy. Uh, he's been on the show before. Lending us yeah. a ton of knowledge when, before we opened. Uh, he was one of my regular go-to guys, almost weekly phone calls. Um, really, awesome. you know, helping me work through a couple different things here and there. Nice. And, uh, we did a big event. Uh, just we had our tobacco license, but we weren't officially open yet, and we were asked to do an event in Mystic. Uh, on a private island, which I didn't know Mystic had any private islands, which yeah, most it's funny how you don't, don't hear about those right. until they're like, oh, so yeah. this we need line. you. And, yeah. and yeah. We, we were asked to do a uh, three stick dinner uh, on a private island for 225 people. Wow. And when you haven't opened your doors yet yep. and don't even have your first shipment in, that can be overwhelming. Very yeah. difficult to do. Oh, so Kurt helped you out with that. That's yep. Cool. I made one phone call to Kurt and uh, he told me, relax, calm down. <laughs> and uh, we talked through it and uh, uh, we 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 featured the 724 sticks at the um, at the dinner and it was a huge huge success and we've been asked back again for this uh, it's a it's a fundraiser black tie event uh, and we did nice. also just did a black tie event at the uh, Ocean House we were one of the smaller sponsors there for their uh, we nice. were able to champ uh, sponsor the champagne tower at the uh, Ocean Houses I drank uh, most of it but yeah <laughs> the yearly fundraiser and to have our, our logo on anything in print in inside the, in Ocean, the Ocean House, House. is yeah. just you, you saw for the, those who don't know the Ocean House you know, is like I don't know if you see really Google snooty it. people in yeah. the movies that are in this sure. like really high yeah. end place right it's kind of like the Ocean House is here in Rhode Island it, it was yeah. a phenomenal event we were, we were glad we were able to be a part of it but it's I, probably one of the most uh, 
I don't want to say I, I want to say uppity, but I don't want to say uppity. It's but exclusive. It's, it, it's an exclusive yeah. hotel and sure. restaurant. Sure. Uh, is is that is that West is that Westerly? That's Westerly. Okay. That's Watch Hill. It's uh, th- two two houses over from uh, Taylor Swift's. That's right. Home, so. Yeah. T. That works. T. Swifty. Yeah. T. Swifty. <laughs> Who we have not seen T-tay. in the lounge T-tay. yet. No, no. But we are. She does have a house in Westley. Yeah, we are right? going to try. She does spend a lot of time in Westley. I have seen her in Westley. I Effort. play a mean uh, guitar, so call me. Yeah. Really? So we're definitely gonna make. <laughs> we're definitely gonna make the push to get Taylor Swift in. <laughs> Without a doubt. That was good. Can you picture me jamming with Taylor Swift? <sighs> try I would get I'm Taylor Swift to play the Ramones. I would be the first trying person. Trying not to. What yeah. else you got over or there? Or a little Joe rancid. Right. Well, I'm going to butcher this name for sure. Um, it is the La Mission. Uh, La, help me. <laughs> La, help me. <laughs> it's a new cigar line from yeah. Atelier. Yeah. It's yeah. the La Mission. Yeah, I had the, um, help the, me. the 59 and the 89. I had them um, Friday and yesterday. Uh, so I had the 1959, which is a uh, four and three fourths by 52 size, and I had the 1989, which is five and five eighths by 54. Uh, I gave them both box worthy. To me, the blends really smoke the same. You know, as as you know, uh, once it gets towards the end, it's it it it, it really calms down, and the retro hail is awesome. Great, great smoke. Uh, I, I gave I gave it a box worthy for sure. Nice. How is everyone liking their? How do you pronounce cigars? that name? La, La Mission. La no, no, Mission. not the Mission. I got the Mission right. The other one. <laughs> the what? L'Atelier. L'Atelier. We L- thought you were shaking on both pronunciations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Well, I did. I did butcher La Aurora last week. La Aurora. <laughs> uh, La Aurora. Like, yeah, I spoke to La Aurora. It was great. <laughs> it's one word. La Aurora. It was the last episode. La Aurora. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Where was I going there? Well, we, we were on the next stick. I gave it a box worthy. Okay, great. Good for you. Rain <laughs> Man. <laughs> wow. Falto Prominente, um, Cameroon wrapper, Dominican binder and filler. I smoked the uh, four and a half by 42 and 47 Perfecto. $5 price point as well. Gave it a box worthy. Really enjoyed this. Um, cedar chocolate and uh, peppery, uh, peppery flavor. Another... Suggestion by uh, Brendan next door, medium full cigar, uh, nice, nice complexity and uh, change up throughout. It's very good. And what was that stick again? The uh, Falto Prominente. What in what size uh, Falto line? Confu- Perfecto. So, I smoked the uh, Perfecto. Okay, I got you. Yep. Um, and uh, this little tidbit of scoop. It was made from a mold back in 1923. Hmm. Um, oh. They got their hands on it and. Uh, Really, really good. Uh, actually, after the show, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire one up again. Where's mine? Come on, <laughs> come on over. It's next door. Right. Ten pages next door. I have a motorcycle door. class, but you know. No, it's a, you it's might, uh, might want to skip it. It's raining. No, yeah, no, luck, you Joe. drink before motorcycling. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. It How are you weather out there? No, no, it's not the practical. It's the written. Oh. Yeah. You can totally. You have a written that. exam. Yeah, Ooh. I don't have my license yet. I have to get it, so I have to sit in the glass while. Three day class here. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, no, because I work so much. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You've been fast. I, she looks great. Right I at have. You. I oh, have yeah. a four day class, so it's like oh. uh, split up two days this week, two days next week. Okay. Yep. Today's just written, so it's okay yeah. to drink bourbon. She did cancel ha- an appointment. Have you had today, the <laughs> Falto <appreciate>. anniversary? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> We get yet. that next door. We have it next door? Yeah. yeah. The anniversary one is the best Falto stick. Really? Will and I smoked it on the show. Okay. Uh, I have had it. Oh, my God. Yeah? It's awesome. It's gigantic. I mean, if you're going to get to class, that might not be the cigar you want to. But I could take it to go and smoke it tomorrow. Yes. It is. It's awesome. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Joe, you can look that up on your laptop. <laughs> yeah. Momentarily. Bring that right up on your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joe Hollywood, what else have you been smoking? Well, uh, <laughs> I had a cigar. It's amazing how the new Kristoff rep doesn't pass out any samples. Mm. Interesting. So, so I had to go out and uh, purchase so, the Kristoff Say what Habana. you will about, about Jared. At least he gave us sticks. R- right. This new Kristoff rep. Everything is, else is kind yeah. of a hot mess with yeah, Jared. But so, so <laughs> we'd love to give Jared a shit on the show. <laughs> so it was Thursday <laughs> afternoon. Had a cigar with the new Christoph rep, and I says, "All right, I'm finally gonna." Oh wait, Dan, that's the Hendrickson kid. Yeah, well, you know, I apologize in advance for this critique of the cigar. He went to Hendrickson anyway. (laughs) The rep, not me, right? Um, (laughs) 
My school closed because the diocese doesn't care about kids anymore. Anyway, oh. it's another Why episode. Why do they care too much about kids? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Right? So I finally, I've been, I've been asking them for the stick for probably three months, right? Uh, the Christoph Habano. I <laughs> give you one. You ever had the Christoph Habano? Yes. 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 Yeah, I had the Christoph Habano. Um, rapper is Brazilian Habano. The binder is Brazilian Sumatra. The filler is Nicaraguan with Dominican Habano. Uh, I had the Matador size, which was six and a half by 56. Uh, I liked it. Uh, I, I would have much preferred if, if uh, uh, the, the, the rep, rep gave it to the you. The rep gave it to me. But be more special. Yeah, be like a little <laughs> special. But he's like, oh, it's good. You know, you like the pissed off, pissed off. You should get this. I was like, all right, fine. I threw a V cut on that thing. Uh, it was good. Um, Your V got happy, huh? Mm. Y- yeah, I'm the V a bullet. Gotcha. So, so that's just my go-to, unless the cigar doesn't allow me to do that um, there. Um, but uh, does, I it get, te- does it tell you how it wants to be cut? <laughs> sometimes. sometimes. The instructions on the wrapper. Doesn't sometimes the cigar sometimes speaks like, to you? <laughs> sometimes it's like, man, you know, you want to try to fit this bullet into this little little, <laughs> yeah, the little short story, the bl- right? The right. Blondie. The blondie. Right. You, you, cause yeah. it tastes better, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, if you can get <sighs> a bullet on a short story, yeah, Arto Fluente, it's yeah. awesome, right? Um, rating. Before we talk about the rating of this cigar. Wait, hold on. So this right, is the it, five and a half by 54? Um, ye, well, hold on. The Matador size. That was... Six and a half by... Six and a half by okay. 56. Look Boom! Oh, Look <laughs> Boom! <laughs> We're both on Joe. There's a new rain, man. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I think the two co-hosts are in trouble. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need my computer <laughs> anymore. I have Jenny Lynn. At this no, no, stage. No, no. uh, <laughs> sniper. Uh, oh, man. Uh, I, can, I can... Joe, you, you better step up our game because oh, she's off on Mondays. You didn't know who I was bringing? It could you be guys a deal. Had, hadn't been warned? <laughs> no one warned you? No one warned us. No, you got, you got some friends that might not be real close friends if they did not warn you ahead of time. <laughs> not for nothing. If you had a co-host, like, like the ratings might go up. You, know? you guys are fired. <laughs> 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 Sorry, right? Joe. Right? <laughs> I can still sweep the floor. It's good. Right? I would still show up on camera. I'd be like... Right. Um... Be- before I get into this rating, I started the cigar. <laughs> Picture Hollywood sweeping the floor, smoking a cigar. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, <laughs> Jay Lynn's on the show. We're doing the show. Just uh, lean, <laughs> leaning into the yeah, camera. Leaning in, like, be like, get remember me? A me? Drink. Yeah. Like, get me a drink, <laughs> sir. Get me a drink right, now. Right, right, right. I'd be like, man. Fill up my lighter, damn it. Yes. Where's my cigar? <laughs> I should my orange. Took Spanish and I should have memorized sizes and I'll be all set. Right? Yes. But no, um, before I get into this rating, I, I lit up this cigar. First thing, I liked it, the flavor. The flavor's right there. But what, what I don't like about that cigar is when you get to that last half, it just kind of just fades. And, yeah. it, and to me, the, the, it, it just fades fast. Unlike the, the pissed off Kristoff, which I think stays consistent throughout sure. the, the whole it thing, does. the back end, I, I don't know what, if, 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 if you had it, it, just, it just fades. Pain, and pains me it, to uh, agree it, with you on this. Uh, oh yeah. really? Wow, yeah. you and you're like a Christoph fanboy. Anyway, he is like on. the biggest Christoph fanboy. I no, I smoked the five and a half by fifty four. Uh, is that they call it a robusto? Um, the uh, they five probably close. call it something different. It's close close Fi- enough. The right. five and a half by fifty four uh, is called the robusto. Um, it? Yep. So it, I rated that one box worthy on episode one ninety two. How about that, Rain Man? Wow. I only say Rain that because I have it in front caught. of me. Cash box me worthy? What's going on? Hey, Cash me outside. <laughs> box worthy. How about that? I, the, robust, the robusto <laughs> in that blend I, is really good. Okay. Yeah. I. I. But will. you smoked a different Sorry. side. No, in this, but I, this is the whole thing. Size. <laughs> yep. Size matters. Yep. Yep. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> <I will. laughs> Coming from a woman, uh, okay. yes it does. <laughs> <laughs> knew we not. No, we're not getting through that show. I knew we were not. I knew. We were not making it through this show <laughs> without Patrick, it going south. St. Patrick's Day, a couple days removed. Yeah. Come on now. So, Take it easy. Um, <laughs> in defense of the rating I'm about it's to cold give out. It, I gave it a try one, right? I gave it a try one, but I will make it a point to go out there and get the Robusto. I'm not going to go to the yeah, I'm curious right? to no. which thing about the Robusto. I, by next episode, I will have a Robusto. I'm going to call the... Uh, boss of the new rep and see if I can get one because it's special. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. I don't remember his name. Dan. Dan. Dan, Dan no, no. 
the the boss of the new. <coughs> oh, the What's new the new Kristoff. Uh, he's, he's big now. Is it, I don't is know. Is it Jeremy? Is it Jerry? Something, something like I don't know. He used to visit our lounge, yeah, but now that he's a ball, oh, he's yeah. a big yeah. Now he's a baller. Yeah. Kidding me? He's so. smoking cigars side by each, as we uh, say in Rhode Island. <laughs> with yeah. Rick Glenn, right? He's on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Oh yeah, Boom. working. Well, I'm not working. in Rhode Island anymore. He's working poolside with with Rick Glenn, right? Yeah. So um, I'm gonna try the robusto, but I did I did give it a try one just because towards the end it it just faded into just you know that was just that you know yeah. i want i'm v- i'm very picky i'm very picky with with my ratings i'm not articulate in my description of the ratings <laughs> however okay. i'm very picky with my ratings and uh, i kind of want them more i'm very you know? picky too it should you should be that way yeah i am in all aspects i high, am high standards hi <laughs> Great man what else you got we're going to go back to uh, cornelius and anthony again the meridian uh, and Ecuadorian rapper, Nicaraguan filler, Nicaraguan and Dominican, uh, I'm sorry, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. 6x50 Toro, $9 price point, four different sizes, and uh, absolutely love this as well. Also a box worthy. Uh, spice and wood, mostly, but it was uh, it was a nice smooth smoke and uh, made at the Lozona factory in Esteli. Here you go, Greg. Esteli. Set it up. Me- medium uh, smoke and uh, some floral notes at the end. I, um, I marched my way through the uh, through the blends. Happen to uh, so you're digging this uh, Cornelius and Anthony. We need to get some samples for the show. Big time. I actually smoked the uh, Vengadze. Oh, we. I think we talked with them about getting not samples. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. No samples. <laughs> no samples. They're, they're making their way. Maybe not sometime or other. Uh, but yes, I, they're not making their way <laughs> to us. <laughs> third in the line, the uh, Vengadze. That exemption for cigar media couldn't come soon enough, right? dude. <laughs> I know. I plan on uh, reviewing the uh, Vengadze next uh, next show. Uh, smoked nice. it today, and I was actually blown away more so than uh, the first two. Great things. We got Joe. Sweet. You got any more? I revisited the Big Poppy. Oh. Again. Now, what's interesting is I have a box of these. Sold at Vintage? I, um, I, do, I have a box that care. I haven't. I'm Smoking waiting for the event. They're just like on hold right now. Yeah. I'm just letting them age. And someone else's humidor. Do you want me to sign it? You could just forge a signature and we get it over with. and then. Mm-hmm. No, I really I'm going to take my, my kids. Maybe at least That's one of my kids mm. <laughs> to the event. Maybe not all three. <laughs> <laughs> I revisited the Big Poppy. As a Yankee fan who went to the 2001 World Series, I saw, oh. <laughs> I, saw <laughs> I saw Kurt Schilling before he was an actor and with his Bloody Sock episode <laughs> when he was with Arizona. Let me tell you something. I've, I was like, this cigar, it's, it, 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 it's got to be hype. It's got to be hype. It's a good cigar. Really? Yeah, it's a good cigar. It's a little mild for my palate. Mild um, for mine. It's, it, 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 it's, it's real mild for my palate. But construction of this cigar, I think, is, is amazing. First time I ever had it was golfing uh, in November. So it was tail end of the golf season. Mm-hmm. Did you throw it on the golf course like you do all your I, golf I do. I just, soft toss. Uh, soft yeah, toss. Soft I, I toss. I always, I like I soft always toss. do a door. Pass the soft toss <laughs> test. A gentleman soft together. toss. Um, for those of you who <coughs> are, soft toss is always huge. For you guys, I always uh, deem if a cigar is golfable, meaning it can take the throw and all that stuff. Uh, it can. The construction's good. It's a good cigar. It's a little mild, for hmm. for, for my opinion. You know, uh, if you want the makeup of the cigar, you have a um, Ecuadorian Habano Claro for the wrapper. You have a Dominican Crioy, Cri- Cri- Criollo. Yeah, thank you. <coughs> Ninety-eight. Uh, and the uh, filler is Dominican Nicaraguan. It's six by fifty-four. Um, there's not a lot of strength in this cigar, and you expect it something with the name sure. Big Poppy. Yeah, you want for it to, it to almost yeah. smoke like maybe Big. a pepper bomb or sure. something like that. Just something to knock you out of the park. Something, yeah. Oh, something, yeah. But it there. doesn't. We yeah. see what you <laughs> since, yeah. since you've gone there, <laughs> Greg, lock it up. You know when Big Poppy bunts? It's only like twice a year. Yeah, he bunted this one. Yeah, he. Yeah. It's a. It's just a bunt. It's um, a bunt. Therefore, it's not a very a glowing bunt. review. Like, but it's a great bunt. It's a great it was, bunt. It's yeah. a good bunt. He made it the first safe. You know, <laughs> it's it's good. I would give it a try. One if 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 you're in a shop and you want to see it and you want to check it out, you know, you can go to a couple shops that have it locally. We have it. Vintage Cigar Lounge, forty seven High Street in Westerly. <laughs> How does it do? It's a bunt. It's a bunt. It's a bunt. You know, it's a bunt. I sell it because it's a 
you know, I have a lot of a lot of fans that are sure. like, "Where's the poppy cigar?" Uh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Um, I've smoked it. Bunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a new yeah. rating here on So You Geeks. Yeah. It's a bunt. It's a bunt. Yeah. The bunt. And I don't want to knock it. Somewhere between a try one and a fiver. It's yeah. a bunt. Yeah, I get it. You know, so. it, it great construction, like you said. So yep. that adds to the bunting, um, but it's a little flat. Yeah. For my palate. No. But for, my palate for, for abused. So. No, you 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 like me. You're, it's you're really funny when, when we like. say like you a know? cigar has great construction. It, it's Jose Blanco it said this to me once. He's like. <laughs> He's like, Paul, every cigar should have great construction. He's it's like, true. that's kind of like table stakes. True. Yeah. Like to be a cigar. It's true. But sure. it's good. It should have good. He's like, they really shouldn't play into your ratings. That's and absolutely when we talk true. about great construction, it's really because the flavor profile just is oh. not what we liked. It's so got a great bunty. personality. That's awesome. But there are a lot of good cigars that are not constructed well, though. That you know what I mean? There are a lot Agreed. of good construction uh, does. There are a lot of does especially vary. in the boutique ring. It's, oh, it, yeah. it's like you know, in, in that whole ring, it's, it's like you know, you you want to enjoy it, but you're just. I constantly. can find horrible construction in anyone's line. Oh, all of right. Yeah. It's Paul syndrome. <laughs> it's Paul syndrome. Hence <laughs> <laughs> your poker. There you go. What else you been smoking, Ray Man? The uh, Corojo Firecracker by Two Guys Cigar, Dave Garofalo. For this of the is show. his latest firecracker. <clears throat> what number firecracker is this? Uh, three by fifty. Is it? But it's like his fifth, fifth or sixth. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I was. I was five out there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I was saying fifth or sixth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nicaragua Escuro Corojo wrapper, Criollo binder, Criollo and Corojo filler. And what factory does this come from? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I stumped. Ah, uh, stumped. Shame. I think you went back to Pepin for this. Release is that true? I don't Dude, have you're it. Gonna step up Jamie's on the other sure. side of the table. I'm sorry, Jamie Jenny. Lynn. This is Jenny Lynn. Jenny, Jenny, Lynn's Lynn's Jenny Lynn. Wait, 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 wait. Let's start over. Uh, Let's start over. Same what is my name? Of the side of the you're gonna step it up. You're gonna what is my name? <laughs> <laughs> don't make her start yelling. Say my name. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Lynn. Just J L. Oh, it's Fratello. I'm sorry, Fratello uh, okay. made uh, the 2017 Firecracker. Five dollar price point. Uh, smoked on the deck just prior to. Uh, Inclement weather the other day, and I really enjoyed it. Pepper and wood, very tasty and balanced. I, I had written down and uh, closed foot, box worthy all day, all day. And nice, probably gonna hit it up again uh, next door after the show. I know, I know a guy that yeah. could probably get us some. We also carry firecracker. Do you? I have some of the original firecrackers. Speaking of like uh, store and cigars, have any of those. I have Can two I have left. I will give you one after really? the show. That would uh, be amazing. My my good friend Dave Garofalo sent them to me actually, That's like an original five packs, and I have is two Bex, left. Is so. Bex inside? Is he still uh, on his? On his no, he got back from Mexico. Yeah, okay. yeah. Dave is a, we're like mutual fans of each other's shows. He's like, I listen to you guys all the time. I'm like, I listen to you guys all the time. Dave is <laughs> bromance. A yeah, it's, it's like a bromance. Yeah, it is. It pretty much is. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Dave. Oh, well, that's good. I haven't smoked that one yet. I'm, I'm gonna. We should pick some up and do it uh, as a cigar, uh, like a Stogie of the Week on the show, because uh, yeah. the Firecracker's been. It's a great. It's story. been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty cool what he does with that. Um, you think like, well, it's a gimmick, but no, it's mm. it, it's they're awesome cigars, <clears throat> and they're all made by different. The I I heard a rumor. I haven't confirmed it with Dave that next year I may go back to Pepin, where which is where he started with the Firecracker. Actually, and then there was the Tatawahe, like, all, when we get into July, we start talking about some of these cigars. There's the M80, oh, yeah. which, uh, I forget which shop that was made. I think it was made for a shop, but we, the M80s have, like, the, that's from Tatawahe. Right. We also carry that. Yeah. We carry that and the C4. No, nice. Yeah. yeah. So you, you're all set for summer. You're good. <laughs> Boom. Ashley Paul's luck would have it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is her nickname, by the way. By Jenny way. Lynn Boom Boom. <laughs> Jenny Boom Boom. <laughs> yep, it's Boom Boom. Most people refer to her as Boom Boom. And do you have the TNT by Viaje? Yes. We do. That's another one. Yep. We do. The original TNT was we have awesome, TNT by the way. Yep. We don't have Later releases were. We don't <laughs> have the M80? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I confused the TNT with, with the M80. Yes. I did. Yeah. Paul's luck That's would have it. I, I actually forgot my, uh, my cutter inside, and uh, but the scar is marketed. To not, you know, you don't need, you know, you don't yeah, you just pull the, rip the, pull right the fuse, and, uh, pull right? The fuse. Pull the fuse, ready to go. Yeah. It's like a grenade, it worked. That was a different cigar. No, it hasn't been a grenade cigar at least, probably not. But well, the grenades were Quesada, no, no, that was the Molotov cocktail, oh, the Molotov yes, cocktail. close enough, yes, close enough. I'll give that. Did one I pick to up you. an accent on that? Awesome. No, so we still have I a do chance. I do not have this accent. <laughs> 
<laughs> Any other, uh, I have one more. <clears throat> I have one more. Joe Hollywood. The Jaime Garcia Reserva Especial Robusto. Very good. I, nice pronunciation. Yes. yes he indeed. close. I'm there. I'm, I'm not there. Jaime. You need a glass Jaime. of bourbon. Jaime. 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 Good. Jaime. Like Jaime. Who's barking in my ear? Is that you? It's me. Jaime Garcia Reserva Especial Robusto. Great. I revisited it. I'm going golfing April 11th. This is, is going to be we're, tournament. We're go- no, no, just I just created a my joke invited. Tournament. You promise you take me golfing? Am I going? I am not yeah. taking you my first time because I have stuff I probably need to work out. Because the last time <laughs> I had a big poppy was November, and that was the last time I hit the ball. So <laughs> I, 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 I got to work some stuff out. I'm sure. But let me tell you something. I'm go- I got I got a couple of these, and I'm they're in my golf bag. I'm I'm ready to go. Yeah, That's gonna be a good golf right. stick. Yeah, it's golfable. It's constructed phenomenal. Lives up to its hype. If you are a new to cigars, do not attempt to have that be your first cigar <laughs> of the day. Do not have that in the morning. Make sure you have a full stomach. It's it's it's. Uh, it gets full. I think it starts off. I think we always try to. Well, I always try, and and we always try. If if you're new to cigars and you hear about the blend and you go, yeah. If you're really really oh, new, oh yeah. If you're new, when yeah. when you first start it, that first half for sure can can be a little tough to get oh, yeah. through. A little bit of pepper and spice yeah, in there. It's pe- mm-hmm. it's it's all pepper and spice. It's right there, um, for you. But it mellows out into just a great smoke. It Smokes right down smoke. to the smoke. Uh, smoke right down really to the And really good, nub. ageable. Like yes. you can age them. And yeah. They, they age well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I gave it I I gave it a box split with a friend. There you go. So if you have a golfing buddy or a fishing buddy, get out there and get that yeah. stick. The and, summer, and oh, go for it. Let's do it. What? Let's do it. Yeah. I've never been golfing in my life. Oh, we got a threesome right there, ready to go. We're ready to go. That's uh, not what I was hoping for, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my camera. Just kidding. I'll be the corner with the lampshade on my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the GoPro. That's going to be a good time. Well, we have time no, not what I'm hoping for. <laughs> I'm expecting my first tee shot to go really towards the right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna pivot the angle first, you know. You should pivot for sure. I'm gonna pl- I'm gonna play the arc and see where we go, you know. But you you can tell Rainman all about your curving to the right thing. I want nothing oh. to do. With it. <laughs> Rainman, you got another cigar in there? Got one more. I, I just wanted to throw props to the uh, the crew as well. Uh, Riley, Tyler, Samantha, and uh, Mark. <laughs> phenomenal, phenomenal job back there, and uh, really appreciate what they do. Uh, um, Stop it, giving them a big head. They work <laughs> for me. Stop that. No, love Last you guys. Last one's uh, and gals. Eastern Standard by Robert Caldwell. We brought up Robert Beautiful earlier. Beautiful stick. Connecticut Ecuadorian wrapper, Dominican Habano binder, Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. $9 <coughs> price point. Three sizes. Churchill and the Toro as well. Uh, perfect golf course cigar. It's a great yeah. stick. Uh, 5 by 50 great Robusto I, I had smoked. I gave it a box split. Um, mostly spice and grass. I, I really, really enjoyed it. It was, it was different. Um, medium and uh, ramps up about halfway through. I think in, uh, it Dominican. appeases like the novice and the aficionado. I agree. Right yeah. in between, right there. Like you can give it to someone who does not smoke or who does. It's a great stick. I We sold out of them. so I spoke five I or six like a day. It was one of those sticks, you know, Joe alludes to uh, often, but Stop me in my tracks, and I, I, yeah. really, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I like it. You know? I like a I've reviewed a couple of them. They're like fivers for me. Okay. But I agreed. Like, it's not uh, it's your mild no, kind of right morning there. smoke, but yeah. it's got a little more oomph to it. But yeah. they're like fivers for me. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, uh, Greg and Jenny Lynn, thank you very much for appearing thank on this you. episode of The Stoey Geeks. Thank you. To the Joes, thank you guys very much for carrying the of the Week. Thanks, everyone, for listening and watching. We'll see everyone next time on The Stoey Geek Show. Bye.